Hello, in this video we're going to work out how to count in 50s. To help us with this, we can use our knowledge of the 5 times table to support our understanding. So, in our 5 times table, it is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 and so on. In our 50 times table, it would be 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400 and so on. Can you see the pattern? The only difference is that all the numbers in the 50 times table are 10 times larger than those in the 5 times table. All the numbers in the 50s follow the same pattern as the 5 times table, but you add a zero on the end to give each number the right place value. Things to look out for are 1. Be careful when going from 100 to the next. For example, we might say 50, 100, 200 and accidentally skip the number in between, which is 150. Or we might say 50, 100, 105. While 105 is only 5 ones away from 100, we need to count up by 5 tens, which is 150. 2. We may find it tricky when counting beyond 950. For example, 900, 950, 100. Once we go above 950, we need to move up to 1000, which is a four digit number. Three, and finally, when counting backwards, we might start counting forwards again when we reach a multiple of 100. For example, 250, 200, 250, and so on. When it should be 250, 200, 150, 150. Take a look at this number line that is supposed to be counting backwards in 50. Let's see if we can spot the mistakes. 990, 950, 900, 850, 805. Firstly, 990 is not in the 50 times table as it isn't a multiple of 50. This number should in fact be 1000 as this is the next number after 950. 805 is not correct either. As we discussed earlier, this could be a common mistake as 805 is a multiple of 5, but it's not a multiple of 50. It should be 800 instead. Let's think about these statements. Are these true or false or partly true? 1. When counting 50, starting from 0, the numbers are all even. This is always true, as the numbers always end in a 0, which is an even number. 2. There are only two digits in multiples of 50. This is only partly true, as it will become a three digit number after it reaches 100. 3. Only the hundreds and tens columns change when counting the 50s. Again, this is partly true, but when we reach 950, the next number will be 1000, 1050, 1100 and so on, which becomes a four digit number. So these digits do change. Finally, let's finish with a word problem. Arthur has £3.50. How many 50p coins does Arthur have? If we think about this as 350p, all we have to do is count in 50s to find out how many coins. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350. Let's count how many coins that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Arthur has 7 50p coins. Or we could have used our 5 times table to help. 5 times 7 equals 35. So 50 times 7 equals 350. I hope you have found this helpful in your journey to mastering counting in 50s. Thanks for watching and bye for now.